we're going to look at how you construct a parallel line through a point using a protractor. I have the word constructing here in quotation marks because as we've talked about in previous videos, the, a true geometric construction only involves a straight edge where you can draw lines, line segments, rays, and a compass. So using a protractor here is, is really not doing a construction. And in another video, I'll show you how to build a parallel line rather using a, uh, a compass, one of the tools we should use. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe for more geometry content as well as other math courses. I have a whole uh, playlist about calculus and statistics. All right, so the first thing I would do is I would simply draw a line from my point or through my point, I should say, and through the existing line. And where we do that is, is really arbitrary. So let me just uh, begin by doing that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these, these um, techniques and, and relationships between um, parallel lines and, and their transversal to create a parallel line. So I want you to notice here that we have a, a an 80 degree angle that has been created. Uh, that's the acute angle. I guess you could also say it's a 100 degree angle. Now that's why this is kind of arbitrary. I could have drawn this line anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to slide my uh, my compass, excuse me, my protractor up like this, and I'm going to stay on that same exact line. So you can see right here, I've still got this uh, cutting on that 80 degree, and I would draw a line exactly on that base like this. So basically just making sure that these angles, you know, this 80 degree that I found down here, I wanted to replicate right here. And if I make those that true, if I keep those, and if you recall from earlier videos, these are corresponding angles because they're in the upper, uh, in this case, upper left corner of these intersections. If these corresponding angles are equal, and of course, this one would be 100, this one would be 100, um, then I've created parallel lines. So this is a pretty nice um, way to do a construction using your protractor, just measuring the angle and ensuring that a uh, corresponding angle is equal, and that proves they're parallel. Now again, this is not a true construction because we didn't use the tools we were supposed to be using, but to be honest, this is probably a, a very easy and more likely way that you could draw a parallel line using angle formulas or angle relationships we learned earlier. Again, please like and subscribe for more geometry content. Have a great day. Really enjoy it.